a siphon is a pipe connecting two reservoirs at different water levels, in which the pipe pressure would locally become less than atmospheric. In the siphon, the liquid flow from the upper reservoir to the lower reservoir on the driving process is gravity. In the first part, the siphon lifts the liquid up to an elevation higher than the surface of the upper reservoir, that is, the fluids go upwards until a maximum elevation where the pressure is less than atmospheric before discharging into the lower reservoir. The siphon is a simple and efficient form of drying using natural gravity. However, the startup of a siphon called priming requires to exhaust the air from the top of the siphon. And the process of priming and depriming of siphon can cause instabilities and unwanted flow patterns. The air regulated siphon is a relatively recent development which allows amounts of air into the siphon during the priming, ensuring a smooth, gradual control priming action on more controlled siphon spillway operation and downstream flood release. In an air regulated siphon, air is entrained at the throat of the siphon in a controlled manner. This photograph shows one intense scale model of the Pergo air regulated siphon spillway model with this second photograph illustrating a detail of the deflector. The advantages of an air-regulated siphon spillway include a relatively high discharge per unit width, the passage of large flood flow with a relatively small variation in upstream reservoir level, an absence of mechanical or moving parts, a smooth, gradual control priming action on the priming operation, on a more controlled siphon operation on downstream flood release than for a traditional siphon spillway. The operation of an air regulated siphon may be div divided into four phases based upon the head discharge relationship of the siphon shown here with the head above Christ, capital H, on vertical axis, and the siphon discharge, BQ, on the horizontal axis. In the initial stage, when the upstream reservation has not reached the inlet lip, the siphon operates like a weir, a weir flow. The relationship between discharge and head above crest follows a typical weir relationship with the discharge being proportional to the head at the power 1.5. Hence, the upstream reservoir level seals the siphon inlet. A partial vacuum takes place at the siphon throat. A subatmospheric weir flow occurs with some limited air entrainment in the flow. With increasing discharge, an air partialized flow takes place when the siphon flow becomes a well mixed air water flow. Maximum flow rate is experienced when all the air is removed from the siphon, the so called black water flow. Then, the discharge varies with the square root of the head difference between the two reservoirs. In practice, air regulated siphon spillways are designed to operate primarily in the subatmospheric weir flow on air partialized flow regimes. The experience in air regulated siphon spillway design suggested that the inlet geometry and shape have a very strong influence on the head discharge relationship. The air demand in fraud scale physical models is always underestimated. The position of the nut deflector is best optimized using physical modeling. The tailwater will best drown slightly the outlet. A seminal contribution discusses the compliance between model and prototype for air regulated siphon spillways based upon 25 years of operation of an air regulated siphon spillway system on a 1 in 5 scale model in laboratory of the air regulated siphon spillway structure. The model prototype comparison highlighted different head discharge curves, instabilities during priming, including cyclic instabilities in the laboratory model, and higher discharge coefficient by nearly 10% in the full scale structure operating at maximum discharge. Further considerations included the non negligible impact of high wind on wave at full scale, some surface tension effect as the reservoir level approaches the inlet level in the model, 
on deviations from desired siphon performance. Finally, the operation of air-regulated siphon spillway may be adversely affected by the risk of blockage by debris on ice of the inlet or entrance of the siphon as well as blockage of the air vents. The operation of air-regulated siphon spillways constitute a basic application of fluid mechanics to operational hydraulics on hydraulic structures, including the design of small dams and weirs. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.